G'day. Welcome to Stray, mate. Oi, is this yours? Yeah, mate. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Do you bring gloves, mate? No. Why not? <laughs> not a pussy. <laughs> Attack. We're about to head into the water. I've got Morgo with me here. Our aim is to get a few flatties, but we'll sort of have to see how we go. It'll sort of the best thing about, I guess, spear fishing is you can be selective in what you get. It's cheap. It's easy. You don't need a boat to do it. Pretty much anyone can jump down here and have a crack. Um, I guess at the moment, this time of year, the water's as cold as a witch's tit. So you've got to be pretty brave. Are you brave, Morgo? I'm gonna have to be, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Quick one before we go in. We've got to decide. Who carries the catch bags? There's only one way to make this fair. Paper, scissors, rock. Or oh, paper, scissors, rock. Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Rock! We got bugger all fish. The viz was no good. The water was cold. We pretty much come up trunk, but we managed to grab ourselves a little snack for the trip home. Maybe enjoy it with a beer. So I'll meet you back at the car. Oh shit! Didn't see you there, <laughs> righto? So as I said before, it wasn't a great dive. The viz wasn't great, so it made it pretty tough for us out there. The weather, the cold, the water was cold, but. We knew we were going to come back and have a couple of beers here at the beep, so we grabbed a couple of snacks to have with our beers. Now, if you haven't seen what a scallop looks like outside of the fish and chip shop before, basically you just chuck a knife in here and pop them open, and that's what you're looking at this time of year. Then, nice and big. That's beautiful. Just give it a lop off the side, and look, you can cook them, but. Oh, here we go. Made a bit of a mess here. But, oi! <laughs> They're just as good raw. How is it, mate? Pretty good. <clears throat> Cheers to that. And the other snack, just that haven't seen before, is the old sea urchin. So, spiny little bastards. Now, you don't get a lot of food out of these, but I shouldn't have done it on my hand. Just crack them open. Basically, what you can eat here is the roe which is all that orange part, which... Tasty, but not a lot in them. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching today. Again, it's just about getting out there with Stray Mate. Still, wasn't a great day on the water, but it's still better than sitting at home on the couch watching Neighbours with your missus, so... Have a good one, see you next time. 24 hours later. Righto legends, we thought we did you a bit of an injustice yesterday, me and Morgs went home last night, we couldn't sleep, we were tossing and turning, we thought we haven't done right by you, so we're back up today, we're hoping we're going to get some better conditions, and again, we've got the aim of getting a few flatties and doing a bit of a cook up for you, so last night just ended up with a bit of a snack and some beers, but we're out to get lunch, if we don't get lunch today Morgs, we're going hungry, I reckon, that's, the, that's yep. the deal. Succulent morsels. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're chasing now. I'd also like to make a formal apology to Morgan on camera because I think I made a bit of a quip at him yesterday about being soft wearing gloves, but my hands from grabbing those urchins are all cut up and they've been bleeding again this morning. So I think I've learned my lesson. I'll have to eat my humble pie. So we're gloving up today. So next thing we'll see you in the water. Hey, Root.
waiting up here on the beach for me old mate Morgo to get out of the water. I've just um, noticed something I want to point out. Just as another little little tip for you, this here is the Australian salt bush. So it's native here to Australia and what it's got on it at certain times of year, if you can see, are those red berries and they're actually edible. And they're quite sweet, a bit of a medicinal, I guess, aftertaste, but also just if you're doing roasts or anything like that, these leaves here, also edible but really nice get a nice salty flavor and they've got they're a pretty unique flavor once they're roasted up so if you're ever down by the coast grab a little branch and take it home well that's lunch sorted we needed it morgo give us something we'll see you in the stray mate kitchen yeah, that's right. welcome to the stray mate kitchen and what a spot we're in have a look at this drone footage Three flatties, we could have got a few more, but at the end of the day, it's just me and Morgo. We don't have to take too many. We want to be sustainable, just take what we need. We're all about that. I'm gonna spend a bit of time just knocking the fillets off these. Flatty's one of the easiest ones to fillet, I reckon. You crunch through the bones and rip the skin off, pulls the rib cage and everything out for you. So I'm not gonna waste your time watching us fillet them. I might chuck one fillet off while you're there now. Again, chuck it between that fin there crunch through again through that rib cage and then you're just going to work your knife along its backbone and again you feel yourself crunching through those ribs but that's all right because we'll get rid of them along with the guts and that as well all the way along there goes a few scallops it's all right Morgo got a heap of them and then we get to the end flip him over here just take a bit there Take the meat off the skin. Normally helps if your knife's a bit sharper than mine. Jeez, we're battling here. Here we go. Then, it's as simple as just again, working the skin from the flesh. And what you'll find is as you pull it, What you've left there is the rib cage, and here you've got a beautiful boneless fillet. The best part about flatties, when you take that side off, I just thought this might be a better view. When you take that side off, give it a nick, and then it's as simple as working the flesh off the skin till you get enough that you can grab a, grab a handful of it, which 
my hands now too slippery. Bang. As you can see, the rib cage is all left inside it, so it saves you a bit of work on your fillet. And there you've got a nice boneless little fillet, really. So if you've never panko crumb flatties, real easy process. Flatties, bit of flour, egg. I didn't have a fork, so I just whisp it up with the old fingers. And panko crumbs. In our case, we ran out of panko crumbs, so I had to do a bit of a hybrid mix of panko crumbs and bread crumbs. So, pretty easy. Dust your fillet into the egg, and then into your panko crumbs. Easy as that. Sit him aside, rinse, and repeat. Bang, bang, and you'll end up with a beautiful looking little fillet, ready to go on the fry. Now I'm going to sit, sit you through this as I go through each fillet. We'll tune back in in a second and we'll get our fry on. Right, hey, welcome to getting fried with Stray Mate and not even on a Saturday night. So, <laughs> no, I can't have that up there. Right, hey, welcome to getting fried with Stray Mate. This is the next part of the session. So, be generous with your oil and then you're just laying them out. You really want to only do a flip each side. So, having a few in the pan, we have a little bit of trouble just here, just being outdoors with the wind. So it took a little bit longer to heat up, that's all good. We got all the time in the world. So, be patient, let it fry up. You want it to get real crispy, because that's what you're chasing, nice crispy taco. I won't let you sit here for the next 10 minutes while it fries up. We'll tune back in, put them together, have a feed, might even share a beer. We'll see you there. Have a look at this. All right, we're nearly done. We've flipped her over. Key is, guys, you've got to remember, although well, you guys probably know more about cooking than me, keep that oil hot. That's the key to success, I reckon. Struggles a bit out here in the wind, like I said before, but keep that oil hot, you're laughing. Right, we're about two minutes off from eating this glorious feast, and I am starving, I'm frothing, I can't wait. We're up to the best part. Take your fillet, chuck it on your tortilla. Although, put two on Morgs, he's, he's a big boy. Then, a bit of coleslaw. Mum will be happy eating my veg. The coleslaw, ah, better put a little bit more on that one. Don't want to be stingy. Next thing, and one of the keys, Kewpie mayo. If you've never had Kewpie, do yourself a favour. Get on it. A little bit of sriracha for a bit of a Oh, yeah, a bit on Morgz's. Oh, he likes it hot. And that's us. Have a look at that. That's, that's bloody beautiful. Doesn't look it? that pretty, but let me tell you, it'll taste a lot better than it looks. That's right. Oh, bro. How is it, mate? This is well earned. It's 3.30 in the Arvo. I haven't eaten today yet. We took a little while, but the wait was worth it. Just remember, Stray mates about getting out with your friends. Make sure you're trying to get out, get in the outdoors, get amongst it, catch and cook. That's what we're about. And we're trying to promote it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Stray mate. And I'll see you next episode. Hey, Root. Take your hat off, mate. Yeah, <laughs> righto. Tortilla challenge. I'll go first. <laughs> I tried to get him the double whammy. Bit of weight behind it. 